Art to me means a way of expressing myself. It's a language, it's like speaking, but non-verbal. It's a way of communicating with somebody that I may never have met before and thinking about if the person can meet the work and understand the feeling or the sentiment that I have tried to translate through painting. My practice is inspired by an understanding of the body that is beyond representation and focuses more on a state of mind. But in terms of the physicality of working, it's inspired by two things. I have this whole Western tradition of making oil paintings that I have learned. I'm also combining it with this history of weaving, this tradition of weaving that comes from Nigeria, this um, creating on, on Sonyo that I sort of like came to learn about when I relocated to Nigeria and started working here. I think being a Nigerian artist and an African artist as well is really important to me, considering the fact that most of my education happened outside of Nigeria. It was really important for me to come back to Nigeria and have this experience here on the continent, looking at ancient traditions and ways of expressing myself that have been handed on from generation and combining it with this Western way of making. For me, it's that blend that's important. So it's honoring both my African and my traditional roots as well as acknowledging where I studied and you know, what I've learned. My work with Tao really started when I came to Nigeria and I started noticing that there were a lot of mentally ill people on the streets. So that's when I started thinking about the, the concept of Tao, that's the art of healing. And it sort of found its way into my work in the way I, I, I paint the bodies, it's sort of like it's about interiority, it's about emotions, it's about expressing a state of mind, you know, because you could meet somebody and they seem very okay and very normal, but in the end they're going through a lot of things. There's this whole motion that's moving within their body. We know that, you know, art can make people well. There's a whole medical field dedicated to that, but it's about uplifting the spirit of people that are, are not feeling well, in, in, whether it's mentally or, or physically. So Global Collectors, galleries and institutions have responded quite well to the work and you know it's something that I'm really grateful for because you know when, when you're working here away from where you know the world considers the centre which is like London, New York, you know all of these places but you still get um, emails for people wanting to do Zoom studio visits or coming to Nigeria to see the work or to understand where the work is coming from. That is, that's just like an amazing, it's an amazing experience. In terms of collaboration between African artists across borders, we're hoping even that with Tao we could grow to a point, hopefully, that we could start inviting artists from wherever to come and, you know, maybe do a residency, you know, stay in Nigeria for a while, understand that there are artists here living and working here. This is a nice and safe place to create. So yeah, I think African artists can also collaborate in this kind of community building exercises. Well, at the moment I noticed that there's a lot of attention on African artists and art being produced you know, on the continent and artists in the diaspora. But I hope that this attention continues to remain honest and the engagement with our work isn't just about profits and about flipping. The people that are buying the work are truly looking and truly listening to the stories and truly trying to understand where we're coming from, the situations that we're talking about with our work that are making us produce in this kind of way. I think we have a lot to say and we've been saying a lot. It's just people have just started noticing.